The VLC is a food safety standard <coughs> that was initially created in the UK and is widely used in the rest of the world. Uh, the new version is going to be released in uh, August 2018, this year, and it's going to be implemented at uh, audit level in February 2019. In section 446, new requirements are set for elevated to walkways. Uh, they must be designed to prevent contamination, easy to clean and correctly maintained. There are several, uh, several, uh, several possible sources of, contam of contaminants from walkways. They start working along the walkways, debris on the floor, uh, for instance, from inefficient cleanings or components of the, uh, of the walkways itself. The BRC doesn't specify how to fulfill these requirements, so we decide to take the approach of uh, following the recommendations set in industry guidelines. For instance, uh, self-draining walkways with uh, flat floor plates and two boards, uh, uh, among others. There are other changes, uh, for instance, uh, for CIPs, otherwise called uh, cleaning in place. Uh, in close 4.11.7, new requirements are set for CIPs. The main ones are that uh, an assessment of the risk of cross-contamination will need to be carried out when the liquid of the CIPs cleanings are reused. A special attention should be paid when, when allergens uh, are handled and when the same CIP is used in different sections. Uh, another, another change is that the alterations or additions of the CIPs will, be, will need to be authorized by a competent person and record of the changes will need to be kept. Uh, frequency of the monitoring will be based on a food safety risk assessment as well. In the new VLC 8, there is also a new section specific for environmental monitoring. This section is the 4118. All areas containing open ready to eat products will need an environmental program for pathogens, like for instance uh, Listeria or Salmonella. Uh, also, um, uh, also for uh, spoiled microorganisms like Pseudomonas, uh, yeast, and molds. The environmental monitoring program will verify that the control measures in place and the site characteristics are suitable for the manufacturing of safe food. Control limits for the monitoring parameters will be set. Uh, there will also be corrective actions in place in case that the results of the monitoring system do not meet the critical limits required. The results of the program need to be monitored, and if the system is not working properly, the program must be reviewed. Uh, finally, it also needs to be taken into account that in the last BRC version, there is also the requirement for the food business operator to understand the significance of the laboratory results.